support. No, I so please. Another month is just about gone, and that means it's time for another pop analysis. Today we'll be looking at Savage by Megan the Stallion, and specifically the remix which features Beyonce. Megan the Stallion. Megan Pete, better known as Megan the Stallion, is a rapper who first had a hit when she released Big old freak, huh? Big booty, big old tree. Huh? I'ma make him wait for the puss. Wait, wait, hit us in big old ski. Hey. Given she didn't have a surge in popularity until. Hey. I'm a hey, no, she got hey, it in look, yeah, yeah. handle me? Who gon' handle me? Thinking he's a player, he's a member. Beyonce. Beyonce Knowles Carter, Queen B herself, starting off in Destiny's Child before becoming one of the most powerful artists out there right now. I mean, we can just rattle off a bunch of the number ones she's had. And of course, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. Background. The original version of Savage was released as a single on April 7th, 2020, given it charted the month before at number 98. Thanks to it being released as a single, having a TikTok challenge, and then two official remixes, it has now hit number one as of the end of the month. The remix with Beyonce that we're talking about today wasn't officially released until April 29th. The original version of Savage actually comes off of Megan Thee Stallion's EP, Sugar. Sugar came out on March 6th, and Savage is actually the third single off of this EP, the first two being I'd rather be a B-I-T-C-H Cause that's what you gon' call me when I'm trippin' anyway You know the And Get this pussy with an uppercut Call that nigga Captain Hook Ay, I go shopping. Mm. As I alluded to earlier, there are actually two official remixes of this, the Beyonce one only being the first. The second is... Which was released on May 14th. The original version of Savage only has three credits, all of whom are included on the remix as well. Those are obviously Megan the Stallion, Jay White Did It, and Bobby Session. The Beyonce version then obviously adds Beyonce, as well as The Dream, Partisan Fontaine, her husband, Jay Z. Stara, and lastly, Derek Milano. This is the second time we're bringing up Jay White did it, the first being when we talked about I don't dance now, I make money moves. Hey, hey. Say I don't gotta dance, I make money moves. Since then, he's got a couple of more hits under his belt, including How much money you got? A lot. How many problems you got? A lot. How many people done doubted you? A lot. Left you out to rap. As well as Little Sally Walker walking down the street. She didn't know what to do, so she jumped in front of me. Bobby Session isn't exactly new to the music scene, but this is his first credit for such a big hit. Moving on to the Beyonce version, we first have Terrius Nash, better known as The Dream, who is certainly no stranger to the pop music industry, having worked on such big hits like Touch my body, In addition to Jordan Thorpe, aka Partisan Fontaine, is also no stranger to this scene, having worked on hits like Be careful with me. Mm. Do you know what you're doing? Who's feeling this? And Taki Taki, Taki Taki Rumba! Mr. Sean Carter, Beyonce's husband, Jay-Z himself, arguably one of the biggest rappers in history, and obviously has a bunch of credits for his own songs and any song that he is featured on. However, he does have a couple of additional credits in which he is not actually performing. Some of those being... And... I need to get yeah. back to the place I long I'm coming home. Next, we have our third time discussing Stara. We first talked about her way back when we did. Havana, oh, no, no, no. hey. Half of my heart is in her 
And then much more recently when we did Cause girls like you go around with guys like me to sundown when I come through I need a girl since then, though, she hasn't gotten any other big hits besides the one we're talking about now. Lastly, we have Derek Milano. Similarly to Bobby Session, not exactly new to the music scene, however, this is his first contribution to such a big hit. Savage is released by 1501 Certified, 300 Entertainment, and the Warner Music Group. Form. Savage is a hip-hop song. The Beyonce version clocks in at just over four minutes long, is in 4-4 time, what can best be described as E flat at Dorian, I guess, and is 85 beats per minute. The song first opens with a short introduction from Beyonce. Baby, wanna smoke with me? Okay. After that, we get the first verse by Megan Thee Stallion. I'm a savage, had a too nasty. Talk big shit, but my bank account match it. She then continues with that into the first chorus. I'm a savage, okay. classy, bougie, ratchet. We then get our second verse done by Beyonce. Hips tick tock when I dance. dance. On that demon time, she might start her OnlyFans. Only Big B. Then we go back to Megan Thee Stallion with the second chorus. Sassy, moody, nasty. Uh, acting stupid, what's happening? We then have the third verse, which goes back and forth between Megan Thee Stallion and Beyonce, before again finishing with Megan Thee Stallion. Even D4L couldn't do it like me, like me. That then gives way to our third chorus. What's happening? Bitch, what's happening? Bitch, I'm a savage. We then continue on with a fourth verse done by Beyonce. Coming straight up out that third, I whip the whip like I stirred it. Wood grain we swerving, keeping his mind all on these curves. After which we get our final and fourth chorus. Savage, savage, classy, bougie, ratchet. Sassy, moody, nasty. The song then finally ends with an outro done by Beyonce. Very much hitting home the idea that the tonic is E flat. We have this E flat minor ninth going to just an E minor ninth, ergo just going up by a half step in a very open position and extremely syncopated. Bass. The bass pretty much repeats what the chords are doing, obviously just doing the root note, going from that E flat to an E natural, and even doing the same rhythm. The only difference is those 16th note runs at the end of each subphrase, going to the E flat an octave up, quickly going to the B flat before repeating the whole thing over. <laughs> Lead. The lead, which only occurs at certain parts within the song, has two parts to it. The upper part has that E flat, then jumping up to a higher E flat, hitting that twice before dropping to a B flat and repeating that process. The lower part really emphasizes that we're jumping in between two E flats and different octaves with a B flat in between. Intro. The intro, done by Beyonce, has her singing lower in her range, singing a lot of Fs before finally resolving to an E flat, very much putting forth that the tonic note is indeed E flat. However, in her backup vocals, which are three part harmonies, because that's just what Beyonce does, seem to very much be tonicizing D flat in terms of their harmony, which leads me to believe that this is actually an E flat Dorian as opposed to D flat major. Baby. Want no smoke with me? Okay. Then turn this motherfucker up 800 degrees. Okay. Whole team eat chefs cause she's a treat. Ooh, she's so bougie bougie, won't never tea. Verse. Starting off with our first verse, we have Megan Thee Stallion on the bottom. Above that, we have Megan Thee Stallion's ad-libs. And then above that, we have multiple layers of Beyonce, one of which is it again in three-part harmonies at times. I'm a savage, had a too nasty. Talk big shit, but my bank account match it. Hood, but I'm classy. Rich, but I'm ratchet. Haters kept my Name in their mouth, not a gag. With the orchestration established, Megan Thee Stallion goes back and forth between very straight rhythms and very swung rhythms. This will be a theme that we'll see as we go on. Bougie. He say the way that thing move is a movie. I told that boy we gotta keep it lowly, me the room key. I done bled the block and now it's hot, bitch, I'm Tunchy. I'm mood and I'm moody. Ah. 
<laughs> Moving on to the second verse, we have Beyonce rapping on the bottom, and then Beyonce's layered vocals again in three-part harmonies, most frequently above her. Hips tick tock when I dance. dance. On that demon time, she might start her OnlyFans. Only Big B and that B stand for bands. If you wanna see some real ass, baby, here's your chance. As her verse goes on, she gets more and more complicated with the rhythms that she's doing, proving that Beyonce can indeed rap as well as she sings. I say left cheek, right cheek, drop it low and swing. Texas up in this thing, put you up on this game. I be parking my frame, gang, 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 gang. If you don't jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. Beyonce at this point now is just doing runs of 16s, and her additional lyrics run the whole gamut from rap ad libs to again three part harmonies. Please don't give me hype. Write my name in ice. Can't argue with these lazy bitches. I just raise my price. I'm a boss. I'm a leader. I pull up in my two seater, and my mama was a savage. Nigga got this shit from Tina. I'm a savage. Yeah. Moving on to the third verse, Megan the Stallion opens up with simplistic rhythms that become a bit more complicated as it goes on, and Beyonce slowly moves up and up in her register before we get to her part in the next section of the verse. Like Beyonce, like me, he want a bitch like the stallion with the knees. He be like, damn, how that thing moving in the jeans? I ain't even deep on L couldn't do it like me, like me. Now we get the full force of Beyonce singing, complete with melismas, complicated melodic lines, and layering. We then go back to Megan Thee Stallion doing slightly more complicated rhythms and a bit pulled back on Beyonce's vocals. In the final verse done by Beyonce, for the first time she does a complete phrase that actually has no vocal harmonies added to it. It's just her rapping. Alright, they asking for the queen to buy some cameras in here. I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage, no comparison here. I'ma flip my hair and look back while I twerk in the mirror. All this money in a room, think some scammers in here. She then combines her rapping and her singing, so we get the best of both worlds, and yes, that includes the backup vocal harmonies. I'm coming straight up out that third, uh, whip the whip like I started. Wood grain, we swerving, keeping his mind all on these curves. Coop fly like a bird, cold on him like birds. Always keep my word. I don't do crossword. She then continues in that same style to wrap up our final verse. Sell you in a writing like them hot girls, them hits, uh. I hop that shit the way I hopped up and slid, uh. I pop my shit, now watch me pop up again, uh. I mop the float, now watch me sweep up these ends, uh. Chorus. The most simplistic version of the chorus is the one we hear first at the beginning. Megan Thee Stallion on the bottom, Megan Thee Stallion's ad-libs in the middle, and some additions from Beyonce up top. The thing to pay attention to, as I alluded to before, is Megan Thee Stallion Stallion's focus on switching between straight and swung rhythms. I'm a savage, okay. classy, bougie, ratchet, okay. sassy, moody, hey. nasty, hey. Yes. acting stupid, what was happening, what was happening? Yeah. What was happening? Yeah. Throughout the song, there are various alterations of the chorus, most often in the form of Beyonce's additions or some changes in Megan Thee Stallion's ad-libs, but for the most part it stays the same. That is until the last chorus in which Beyonce fully becomes involved with it, adding various melodic lines to Megan Thee Stallion's rapping. On the chorus's repetition, we just have so many parts to this. Megan Thee Stallion, Megan Thee Stallion's ad-libs, Beyonce's original vocal line that has existed in the chorus up until this point, as well as more three-part Beyonce harmonies. I'm a savage, classy, bougie, ratchet, sassy, moody, nasty, nasty, hacking, stupid, what was happening? Outro. After the craziness of the last chorus, we just have the outro done by Beyonce, who raps most of it, but she does have layered vocals, especially when she says the word B, which has this huge three-part vocal harmony run. The original version of Savage was a good song in and of itself. Hell, it charted on its own long before the Beyonce remix was even announced. That being said, Beyonce adds so much to this song, even in the backup vocals and the ad-libs that she does over Megan Thee Stallion's rapping. Regardless, Beyonce and even Megan Thee Stallion have most certainly proved at this point that they can sweep up these animals. Savage, savage, classic, bougie, 
ratchet, ratchet. Uh, sassy, moody, nasty. Uh, acting stupid, what's happening? Uh, what's happening? Uh, what's happening? Uh, you know, if I just did the original version of Savage with just Megan the Stallion's rapping, the transcription would have gone a lot smoother. But it was because of Beyonce and her three-part harmonies that this analysis was so painstakingly hard. I'm a savage, classy, bougie, ratchet, ratchet, sassy, moody, nasty. Hacking, stupid, what's happening?